Uh, today I'm going to talk about the method and technique that I use to split firewood techniques. Um, we'll get into doing the splitting. I'll pick one block here. That's one here right beside me. Uh, and now it's not coming up for me. Yeah, very straightforward. Um, no difficulty with this one here. Not a lot to to show except except the technique. Uh, and when you're doing the split, when you're doing when you are splitting it. Oh, and another small little thing here. When you are walking with it, I always turn the the block around. This is split in half here now, and instead of going from the middle where the rings are narrow, I turn it around so I can walk from the side with the where the rings are are wide. Um, when you're swinging, move the axe head quickly. Speed gives more force, and extra weight gives, gives more force as well. Oh yeah, all pretty straightforward here. Uh, this is so easy here now that I can't, uh, I can actually shorten the grip. And I do that just off before we start uh, working on a more difficult round. Um, oh, this is very, this is very easy, and they're they're generally not like that. Um, okay, we we'll pick this one here. This is looks. Yeah, there's a few knots in this. I'll uh, I'll put it up on the splitting block. Generally, with these ones, big ones like this. When I start off, I go straight for the sledgehammer and give them one split to start them off because difficult rounds, difficult rounds, very often uh, you won't be able to split them with an axe or with a maul. You split them in half with, a, with the sledgehammer and the wedges and the rest of the job is generally an awful lot easier. So we're going to see how this will go. I won't even think about using the axe in this because I think it's too light. So I'm going to go for the, for the maul. The splitting mall, my main implement, five kilograms, 11 pounds, Austrian make, molar, uh, great implement, good and sharp, long handle. Um, I have a feeling it's not gonna work on this, we'll see. A few knots in this, uh, you, but, okay, we'll give it a swing and see how it goes. Now, I know about this straight away. Uh, I'm not gonna continue with the, with the mall. Uh, I kind of felt that wasn't going to work with it because it's pretty, it's a big round and there's plenty of knots in it and you can waste an awful lot of energy uh, with a smaller implement trying to split it. I'm going to put it back down on the ground and I'm going to use the wedges and the sledgehammer and maybe talk about, talk about that, how I, how I approach it. Now I have a, an, an array, an array here of, uh, of wedges. Two ones here, two good quality ones with a blade, which are the ones that I, I normally go for when I'm splitting. And then when maybe to, after I do a bit of a split on them wedges and, the, and the, the round hasn't separated apart, I use one of these big thick wedges, kind of a round one, a wood grenade type of effect. This is an eight pounder to kind of open up the round completely. Uh, this type of wedge with a pint is not good at the initial splitting open of a, of a difficult round. Doesn't work well at all. Uh, you, need, you need a wedge with a, with a blade. Uh, this one here now, I always, again, like when you're doing the split with the, with the, um, with the maul, you start near the outer edge. Don't go into the middle. Don't put one of these now, this is gonna be a difficult round, don't put it right into the middle. You're going to make life an awful lot harder for yourself. Keep it out around the edge, near the edge, not completely at the edge, but out around where the rings are good and wide. Uh, now, you can give it a tap in to secure it before you actually take the swing. Um, we we'll see here how it goes. I have it fairly well secured here now. 16 pound sledgehammer. I'm going to give it a swing and see what happens. Oh, this is going to be a bit of work, I think. Uh, 
starting to open up. You can hear the crack and it has come pretty well away, but not completely. Uh, still a few fibers holding it together. Now, it's on the ground. I don't want to use them all to finish it off. You always use a block, a splitting block, so that uh, your implement, ball axe or whatever you're using, is not going to come in contact with the, with the ground. I finish it, when I finish it off here to open it up completely, this demonstration, I use this particular um, uh, wedge, big wide one, and give it a strike to finish it off. Now, that's a fairly difficult round, reasonably difficult round, yes. I'm after going through a knot here. Yes, after going through a reasonably small knot. Now, once it's opened up, it's generally easier. Once you have a split in half, it's generally I qualify that generally easier to 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 continue with the with the maul or axe. Um, so we'll see how we'll see how it goes. Now it's in half here, and again I say hit for the outer edge where the rings are where the rings are good and wide. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, and that's reasonably went reasonably well there now, um, but it hasn't opened up fully yet. Pretty easy and pretty harmless. A bit easier than I expected now. Now, ah yes. Getting near the knot and more difficult. And I do find with, with the more difficult rounds, the more difficult they are, the bigger they are, you need to go up in weight. Five kilograms, 11 pound weight. Uh, it'll work an awful lot better on this round than using the six pound axe, which probably wouldn't have much of an effect in it at all, or even the, the four kilogram um, splitting axe, which I have. That wasn't too bad. Uh, uh, I just split this a little bit. I ship this part to go easy here now. I'm, I'm going to shorten the clip. Um, normally I go from hit from where the rings are, big in towards the middle. But I I went sideways in this more or less parallel to the to the rings because I knew there was no knots and too small and it was going to be pretty easy to split anyway. Not here at the bottom of this one, which I actually didn't see. Go from the other side. Now here we have a, a dead branch running through it. Oh, ah, yeah. But I'm here now. There's another dead branch, or a knot, or a dead branch. I'm not sure which. Ah, yeah. Dead branch. See there. Now, last bit here getting a little bit more difficult because of the dead branches running through it. Now, some situations, if your uh, baller axe is stuck in the round, and if it's light enough, you can bring it up over your head and bring it down. Didn't split open that time. I think this one should do it. more. Yeah, that's it. Okay, here now I have, uh, I'll do another block here. I want to show some other little bit of a trick that I, I have when I'm splitting. Uh, okay, I don't know how well, how, how quickly or how easy this is going to split. It might split easy enough. We'll see. Now, ah, difficult one. I know by the, the sound of it. Difficult, it might need to be a one for the sledge and wedges, but we'll give it another two, one or two swings. Now, yes, it's starting to open up. Now, this is starting to open up now. There's a good likelihood now when I take out the, the mall that the opening will close up. And that'll give you 
that'll only give you a very narrow area for to strike in the same place the next time. But if you can keep the opening there, and you take out the mall, it'll be a lot easier to strike in that place the next time round. So, just take a bit of an offshoot. There's lots of them lying around the place here. I wouldn't here just beside the one that I was splitting earlier. And this offshoot, put it into the opening. Press it down. And when you take out the mall, the opening will stay there. And uh, a bigger area to aim for than if it than if you took out the mall and the whole thing closed up on you. So we'll see. That's a small little trick and it works works well for me anyway. There you are. We've got it fairly well open there now, but not fully yet. Um, I'll turn it over. I don't want to go into it here because I'd be afraid if I if I hit it here, as I've said before, on the far side of the block, it opens up. This area here might not open up enough and you could hit the handle and cause potential damage. So I'll turn it around. This is because it's, it's holding here. Yeah. And that's a split there now. Um, that's the basic technique. I'm... Uh, um, how I do it, the do's and the don'ts. Um, I'm interested in getting feedback from people. Is there a better way of doing it? Uh, should I be doing something different? Uh, if you have any thoughts on it, um, uh, send a comment and uh, if need be, I'll reply to it. And uh, thanks for listening.